Hello and thank you for watching another video by Curiosmos. Today, we will look into a planet that some experts say is Earth's twin, and life could have developed on its surface. On July 23, 2015, NASA's Kepler mission confirmed the first near-Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone around a sun very similar to our star. With the help of NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, astronomers have discovered the first Earth-sized planet orbiting a star in the habitable zone the range of distance from a star where liquid water might pool on the surface of an orbiting planet. The discovery of Kepler 186f confirms that planets the size of Earth exist in the habitable zone of stars other than our Sun. While planets have previously been found in the habitable zone, they are all at least 40% larger in size than Earth and understanding their makeup is challenging. Kepler 186f is more reminiscent of Earth. The discovery of Kepler 186f is a significant step toward finding worlds like our planet Earth. And now that we have telescopes such as James Webb, we can study these worlds with great detail. Although the size of Kepler 186f is known, its mass and composition are not. Previous research, however, suggests that a planet the size of Kepler 186f is likely to be rocky. We know of just one planet where life exists, Earth. When we search for life outside our solar system we focus on finding planets with characteristics that mimic that of Earth. Finding a habitable zone planet comparable to Earth in size is a major step forward. Kepler 186f resides in the Kepler 186 system, about 500 light years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. The system is also home to four companion planets, which orbit a star half the size and mass of our Sun. The star is classified as an M dwarf, or red dwarf, a class of stars that makes up 70% of the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. M dwarfs are the most numerous stars. The first signs of other life in the galaxy may well come from planets orbiting an M dwarf. Kepler 186f orbits its star once every 130 days and receives one third the energy from its star that Earth gets from the Sun, placing it nearer the outer edge of the habitable zone. On the surface of Kepler 186f, the brightness of its star at high noon is only as bright as our sun appears to us about an hour before sunset. Being in the habitable zone does not mean we know this planet is habitable. The temperature on the planet is strongly dependent on what kind of atmosphere the planet has. Kepler 186f can be thought of as an Earth cousin rather than an Earth twin. It has many properties that resemble Earth. The four companion planets, Kepler 186b, Kepler 186c, Kepler 186d, and Kepler 186e, whiz around their sun every 4, 7, 13, and 22 days, respectively, making them too hot for life as we know it. These four inner planets all measure less than 1.5 times the size of Earth. The next steps in the search for distant life include searching for true Earth twins, Earth-sized planets orbiting within the habitable zone of a sun-like star, and measuring their chemical compositions, and this is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes into play. With experts estimating there are some 300 billion Earth-like planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone, surely one of them, other than Earth, meets the requirements for life to exist on its surface. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.